So exactly how many children does Jay-Z really have? Cause from where I'm standing, it sure as hell just ain't the three he has with Queen Bay. I don't know, I wouldn't know how he feeling. Like, I would I will hope, I would hope he would think about it and this would be in his mind, but you know, I wouldn't actually know what what another person is feeling. That right there is Ramir Sadoway, who has been trying for almost a decade to get Jay-Z to take a paternity test to prove Jay-Z is his father. But how sure is he that Jay-Z is his dad? Where are the receipts? And what reason could Jay-Z have for denying a child for the last 30 years? Apparently, Ramir's mother, Wanda, hooked up with Jay-Z in 1992 at his aunt's apartment in Brooklyn, New York, after Jay-Z first picked her up in Philadelphia. And the story is that they used protection by it failed, and other than a visit from him two weeks later, they never saw each other again, and Wanda had no idea how to contact Jay-Z. Ramir claimed he was first told by his mother that she believed Jay-Z was his father when he was around eight years old. Although his mom's live-in boyfriend, Robert Graves, was originally listed on the birth certificate, he was legally removed in 2011 after a DNA test proved he was not the father. She told Ramir that she had only been with Robert and Jay-Z, and if Robert was not the father, it only made sense that Jay-Z is the father. Back in 2011, Wanda even filed a civil lawsuit in New Jersey seeking child support from Jay. However, that lawsuit was ultimately dismissed because it was filed in the wrong state and was never refiled. And Jay-Z's lawyer stated that Jay-Z was not an interested party with respect to the custody of Ramir. Since then, it's been a long battle for Ramir trying to get Jay to do a paternity test, but Jay has never agreed to one. Jay even denied having other children on his song, Heard About Us, where he rapped, Billie Jean in his prime for the thousandth time, the kid ain't mine. Well, Ramir also just put it out there that he got his musical talent from his father and released a track called Stacks about how Jay-Z has allegedly been trying to stop him from making it in the music industry due to the controversial case. He also told The Sun, this is not me being petty or trying to start a feud or anything like that. I wanna put my song out there to let the world know that I'm still going up regardless of what anyone says and Jay-Z. I'm coming for the music industry. If he has said he's not my dad a thousand times, wouldn't it be easier to just take the test? This has gone beyond a paternity test now. It's about more than that. Guess what? Ramir recently went back to court again to try and get Jay-Z to agree to a paternity test. According to Ramir, Jay-Z has been using his wealth and power to avoid taking a paternity test, and he revealed how he was denied a fair hearing in court because of legal mistakes and malpractice. He's even gone for his own lawyers, accusing them of colluding with Jay-Z's legal team to help him get out of taking the test. He judges these lawyers, this 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 fraud, this collusion, who knows what it's for, money or friendships or whatever they got going on, but I can honestly say that we should never go in the courtroom feeling like we're already the and we did nothing wrong. And if you think it's about the money for him, you are totally mistaken. Ramir also said that he did not want any money from Jay-Z and only wanted him to tell the truth, adding, he's supposed to be a positive role model for our community. He stands there screaming, Black Lives Matter. Well, tell the truth and take responsibility. And if you say I'm not your son and nothing ever happened with my mom, then just take the test. If you are telling the truth, then why is your first answer whenever you're asked to take a paternity test, no. Also, also, I want a fair due process in court, regardless of who my father is or how rich he is. Ramir has actually taken his battle to the Supreme Court in an attempt to unseal the case and force Jay-Z to take a DNA test. I'm just asking everybody, all the judges or anybody who's working on the case, to do what's right and do their job the correct way, even if you overlook something or didn't see something. Everybody makes mistakes, as I said before, but you know, it's time to actually do your job and. So initially the case was rejected by the Supreme Court because it did not have jurisdiction to reopen matters in the appeals court or to unseal records in the trial court. But it was then refiled by Ramir in the appellate division of the New Jersey Superior Court, which is considering the matter. Now I know a lot of y'all are probably wondering what reason Jay-Z would have to hide a child he had so long ago. He wasn't even known like that back then and his first album hadn't even been released. So what image was there to protect? And how would him having a child back then mess up his image anyway. 
Well, it's possible that Jay-Z is also denying the allegations because when he allegedly hooked up with Wanda, she was 16 and he was 22, which would mean that he slept with a minor. And that's just another story. This is actually something that Wanda's godmother noted when she said, I got a call from his in-house lawyers and they were very helpful and we thought we would resolve this privately. They even talked about Ramirez's music talent and whether it was a good idea to put him on his record label, but he had to finish high school, so I said no. Suddenly, different lawyers got involved and their attitude completely changed. I think they realized there was more at stake for Sean, given that Wanda was allegedly underage. Obviously, unless Jay agrees to a paternity test, there's really no way of telling whether he's actually Ramirez's father or not. And considering there's a chance he could be registered as an offender if he's actually the father, I know Sean Carter is not about to take a paternity test. Oh, I'm not done, love, cause there has been more than just one allegation of a love child. I didn't know that Jay-Z was my father all my life. There's no way that he can deny anything, especially when people were there that know him. Yep, Letitia Maser also claimed that she was Jay-Z's daughter on an expose on Instagram where she was like, I've been quiet for too long. Join me as I tell you my story of living in the shadows of being Jay-Z's daughter in a city where everyone knew he was my father. But I kept it all together, raising four kids, including a set of twins while going to school full time, working two jobs at the prison and the hospital. I've had a magnificent journey. That's how I hear it in my head. Apparently, Letitia was born in 1990 after her mother Lisa had been introduced to Jay-Z through Lisa's sister, and the two immediately began a romantic relationship. The sister even wrote about the encounter on Facebook. I know the story from start to finish. I hooked your mother and father up years ago. Jay-Z asked me who she was when I lived on 500 side Greenwood Avenue. We chilled in that apartment so many times. We laughed, drank, smoked, played cards, and some more sh Lisa and I have talked about this for years. And one of Jay's old friends, Oshino, actually confirmed the allegations and said in 2022 that Jay-Z purchased a house for Letitia in Cambridge, Maryland, and that he paid her bills, but allegedly doesn't allow her to put pictures of him around the house as a part of their deal. Even like the, the, the door that he got. I'm not hiring my daughter for nobody. The whole reason to get money is for your kids. Before you settle on the number five, there were also allegations that Jay-Z fathered a child with model Chanel Scott. A man named Gerald Andrews, who was assumed to be the child's father, said that a DNA test had shown that his son Malik Saeed was not his son and that Jay-Z is the father. However, representatives for Jay-Z denied the allegations once again, saying, there is no truth to these ridiculous rumors. People should be ashamed of using this kind of story and exploiting a child for publicity and ratings. Gerald did retract the allegations, but there's no way to tell if he was paid to take back his words. Honestly, there could be more children, but again, I doubt Jay-Z will ever admit that he has other kids other than the ones he has with Beyonce. But do you think it's solely because of the age thing with Ramirez's mother that he's fighting this one the most? I'd love to know your thoughts. Sound off in the comments section below.